Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture series of engineering graphics and design. Myself Ankur Patel and today in this fourth session of projection of lines, we will continue our practice with problems of projection of lines. So before starting today's session, let us recall what we have uh, discussed in our session two and session three of projection of lines. In our session two of projection of lines, we have uh, practiced uh, the problems in which the data related to the true length of the lines are given. That is true length theta phi and uh, locus of uh, end points. And in our session three of projection of lines, we have uh, practiced uh, the problems in which uh, end projectors of the lines are given. And as you noted, the end projectors of the lines are the data uh, related to the plan length and elevation length of the line. So by summarizing what we have learned in the second and third session, let's try to solve uh, problems in today's session. So let's start with the first problem. A line AB 65 mm long appears to be 45 mm in plan and 55 mm in elevation. Its end A is 20 mm below HP, 40 mm behind VP. Draw projection of line and find the true angle of inclination of the line with HP and VP. So the given data is uh, two length is given 65 mm. Uh, plan length is given 45 mm. So plan length is 45 mm. 55 mm in elevation. That means elevation length is 55 mm. And A is 20 mm below HP, 40 mm behind VP. So end A is 20 mm below HP and 40 mm. VP. Right now, and A is in the third quadrant, and we have to find out the uh, true angle of inclination of the line with the HP and VP. That is theta and phi. So right now, the quadrant of point B or locus of point B is not given. So first of all, we have to assume the quadrant of point B. So as the point A is in the third quadrant, we will assume point B in the third quadrant also. So by assuming point B in the third quadrant, let's try. Uh, let's start the problem. So first of all, draw XY reference line. After drawing the XY reference line, first of all, draw plan and elevation of point A because the locus of point A is given. So A is 20 mm below HP. So 20 mm below the XY reference line, we will get elevation of point A. So this will be the locus of A dash. And 45, 40 mm behind VP, that means 40 mm above the XY reference line, we will get plan of point A. So this will be the plan of point A. Draw locus from point A. This will be the locus of A. Now, uh, uh, here the uh, other given data is two length PL and here. So let's try to draw TL, PL, and EL. So first of all, take true length. So true length is 65 mm. And as we know that we can draw two length from A and A dash. But right now, if you want to draw two length, uh, theta and phi are required or locus of B and B dash are required. So theta and phi are not given and locus of B dash and B is not given. So we cannot draw two length right now. So let's try to draw plan length. So if you want to draw plan length, uh, we can draw plan length from A. But right now we doesn't have a beta angle to draw or to show plan length. And we doesn't have the locus to get the arc on the locus of B. So right now we doesn't draw the plan length also. Elevation length is 55 mm. So we can draw elevation from A dash. But uh, if you want to draw show elevation, alpha angle is required or locus of B dash is required which is also not given so what will we do uh, so if you if you uh, analyze the further problems uh, you you can uh, understand that uh, if we mark b2 on locus of a and we if we measure a, a distance between a b2 we will get plan length so we can uh, mark plan length on locus of a to get b2 so measure plan length 45 mm and mark b2 on locus of a this length will be the plan length, but it is not a plan of line AB. Now, uh, as we have marked the plan on uh, locus of A, we can mark elevation on locus of A dash. So, measure elevation length, which is 55 mm, and from A dash, measure 55 mm, you get B2 dash. So, right now we have B2 and B2 dash. Now, draw straight line from B2 dash in the direction of the locus of B, and from B2, draw a straight line in the direction of locus of B dash. Right now, uh, we have assumed the point B in the third quadrant. So we will get plan of point B above the XY reference line and elevation of point B below the XY reference line. And on this uh, projector, you will get B1. And on this projector, you will get B1 dash, which will give us the true length. And we have the true length. So measure true length, 65 mm. Uh, take center at A and give an arc on this projector. You will get B1. This will be the locus of B and B1. And by connecting B1 to A, we will get the true length, which is inclined at an angle of phi. So phi is the angle of inclination of the uh, line with the vertical plane. 
now again we have a 265 mm so from a dash key van arc on this projector we will get b1 dash this will be the locus of b dash and b1 dash connect b1 dash to a dash we will get a two length inclined at angle of theta now uh, if you want to find out the plan uh, measure a b to sorry measure a b2 which is 45 mm on the rounder take center at a and rotate b2 up to locus of b here we will get b and by connecting b to a we will get the plan and the angle theta and uh, uh, rotate a dash b2 dash which is our elevation length up to locus of b dash by taking center at a dash so take center at a dash a dash is equal to a dash to b2 dash given arc up to locus of b dash here we will get b dash now connect b dash to a dash we will get the elevation length and the angle of elevation length is alpha now we have to find out the uh, uh, theta and phi but first of all connect b dash b we will get the end projectors now we have to find out the theta and phi so measure theta and phi and write down the answer by your own now let's move on to next example the front view and top view of line mn is inclined at an angle of 30 degree and 40, 40 degrees respectively the front view of a line mn measures 50 mm point m is 15 mm above hp 10 mm in front of it draw the projection of line mn and find the true length of the line mn so uh, the given data is the front view and top view of line mn is inclined at an angle of 30 degree and 40 degree so this 30 degree and 40 degree is our alpha and beta and front view measures 50 mm so elevation length is 50 mm alpha is 30 degree beta is 40 degree and uh, front view measures 50 mm that means elevation length is 50 mm point m is 15 mm above hp 10 mm in front of hp point m is 15 mm above hp 10 mm in front of hp draw the projection of the line mn mm and find the true length of the line mn so here we have to find out the true length only which we will find after drawing the projections now here again the quadrant of point n is not given or locus of point n is not given so first thing is we have to assume the uh, quadrant of point n and as m is in the first quadrant we will assume point n in the first quadrant also so assume point n in the first quadrant so n will be above hp and in front of vp now let's try to solve this example by using this data so first of all draw xy reference line after drawing the xy reference line mark point n that means uh, mark elevation and plan of point m so m is 15 mm above hp and 10 mm in front of vp so 15 mm above that means 15 mm above the xy reference line we will get m dash draw the locus of m dash from m dash and 10 mm in front of it in front of that means 10 mm below the xy reference line we will get the plan of point m draw the locus of m from m now we have alpha beta elevation length so let's start with the elevation length 50 mm and uh, as we know that we can mark elevation length on locus of m dash we will get n to dash so from m dash measure 50 mm and uh, this is our elevation length here we will get n to dash so now we have n to dash and we have elevation length and we also have the angle of the elevation length which is alpha so uh, uh, first of all uh, uh, rotate m dash and n to dash or take center at m dash and uh, radius is equal to m dash to n to dash draw an arc in the upward direction because we will get n dash above the xy reference line because we have assumed the n in the first quadrant now from m and m dash draw a line inclined at an angle of alpha which is 30 degree so draw a line inclined at an alpha which is 30 degree we will get the intersection of this line on this arc this will be our n dash and n dash m dash we will be our elevation length which is 50 mm now draw the locus of n dash and n1 dash so on this locus we will get n1 dash also now we have a beta angle which is the angle of the plan length that is mn and if we draw a projector from n dash or we will draw a projector of n we will get plan of point n somewhere below the x y reference line on this projector so if you want to find out n now uh, draw a line incline at an angle of 40 degree from m so draw a line incline at an angle of 40 degree from m these are our n projectors 40 degree which is beta here we will get n so mn is our plan length and 
angle is already given which is 40 degree this is the locus of n1 and n2 now if you want to find out the two length we have to draw a straight line from n2 dash up to locus of n so draw a straight line from n2 dash up to locus of n here we will get n1 and by connecting n1 to n this will be our two length and an angle of 5 now measure this two length m n1 put your under n on m dash or take m dash as a center and give n up on locus of n dash here we will get n1 dash connect m1 dash sorry m dash and n1 dash we will get two length and an angle of this two length is theta now we have to find out the two length of the line mn so measure this two length m dash n1 dash or mn n1 it will be equal to 62 mm so this is our final answer now let's move on to the next example a line ab 90 mm long is inclined at 30 degree to hp its end is 12 mm above hp and 20 mm in front of it its front view measures 65 mm draw the top view of AB and state its length. Determine the inclination of the top view and line AB with vertical plane. So here the given data is two length is given, which is 90 mm, and the angle of the two length is also given 30 degree with the horizontal plane. So theta is 30 degree, and A is 12 mm above HP, 20 mm in front of AB, and the elevation length is 65 mm. Uh, front view is 65 mm, so elevation length is 65 mm, with and A 12 mm above HP, 20 mm in front of VP. and uh, we have to find out the uh, or we have to uh, find out the top view of the line or length of the top view of the line so we have to find out the plan length and we have to find out the inclination of the top view with the xy reference line that means we have to find out the beta and the line ab with the vertical band that means we have to find out the phi also and uh, here again uh, the quadrant of point b is not given so first thing is we have to assume the quadrant of point b and here the point a is in the first quadrant so we will assume point a in the first quadrant also so b is in the first quadrant so it will be above hp in front of VP. so let's start so first of all draw xy reference line after drawing the xy reference line first thing is we have to uh, mark the plan and elevation of point a because the locus of a is given so a is 12 mm above hp so above the xy reference line 12 mm we will get a dash and draw a locus of a dash from a dash and 20 mm in front of a b that means 20 mm below the xy reference line we will get the plan of point a so mark point a or plan of point a this will be the locus of a after marking elevation and plan of point a now let's try to solve the examples by using this given data that is the two length theta and elevation length now two length is given and theta is given so theta is the angle of the two length and we can draw theta from a dash so from a dash draw a line inclined at angle of theta which is 30 degree uh, having length equal to 90 mm so we will get two length here we will get b1 dash draw locus of b1 dash this is the locus of b dash also now uh, we have elevation length uh, and as you know that elevation length is a dash b dash and right now we have locus of b dash also so measure elevation length 65 mm I take center at a dash and give n upon locus of b dash here we will get b dash by connecting b dash to a dash we will get the elevation at an angle of alpha now we have to find out the plan length beta and phi so first thing is uh, draw the end projectors that is from b dash draw a straight line this is the end projectors and now from b1 dash draw a straight line up to locus of a here we will get b2 and this length will indicate the plan length so right now we have the plan of point a but we doesn't have the plan of point b so if you want to find out the plan of point b take center at a radius is equal to a to b2 which is equal to the plan length give an arc on this projector so here we will get b so connect b to a this will be the locus of b and b1 connect b to a this will be our plan length at an angle of beta now measure two length which is a dash b1 dash or uh, uh, take an arc of 90 mm on this locus from a so from a uh, take an arc of 90 mm on locus of b so here we will get b1 and by connecting b1 to a we will get two length and the angle of the two length with the vertical plane which is phi now measure the plan length which will be equal to 78 mm measure the beta angle by using the vertical we will get beta is equal to 53 degree 
measure the phi angle by using the contact angle with the phi is equal to 40 degree so this will be our final answer so this is it for today thank you for watching we will come with some more problems of projection of lines in our next lecture till then take care